Suicidal ideation is a spectrum of things that, that goes from very mild to very severe. Starts off with the low end, these kind of fleeting, passive, intrusive thoughts, such as, I want to drive off that bridge, or what would happen if I did, or what would happen if I jumped off of a tall building. That then moves over into the more passive suicidal thoughts of, I wish I was dead. I don't want to do anything to actively end my life, but I wish I was dead. I wish that I could walk across the street and a car or a bus would hit me, or I would die in my sleep. So the next level of suicidal ideation is more active suicidal ideation. This is when you're actively wanting to die and you're making active plans to do so. You may often be finding access to things such as firearms or medications if those are your plans. Suicidal ideation then progresses into the actual attempt of suicide and the act of suicide at that point. Suicidal ideation is caused by a lot of different things. It is typically the convergence of mental health issues and physical health issues that lead to a feeling of hopelessness, helplessness, and despair. Uh, it can be primarily found in individuals with depression, but it also can be found in a lot of other mental health problems such as bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and eating disorders, just to name a few. Suicide and suicidal thoughts are not a part of normal uh, thinking and part of normal healthy coping mechanisms. Even if you've had a single thought about suicide, you should reach out for professional help. If you can be safe, that reach out can actually be waiting until you can reach out to a therapist or your primary care provider. If you're unable to be safe, you need to get to an emergency room as soon as possible.